And today we're going to start our adventure here in Cherokee, North Carolina. And our plans are to go through Cherokee, we're going to do a little exploring. And then we're going to head over to Maggie Valley, do a little more exploring over there. It's going to be fun. We are looking for colors. We're looking just, we just haven't been over here in a while. Dawn, are you ready? ready. Let's do this. It is absolutely a beautiful day here in Cherokee and I have a lot of memories coming over here as a kid. Of course, the chief, he would always sit just over there. I got a, some photos of me sitting on his lap that I can't find anymore. I yeah, he was, he was kind of like Santa Claus, you know what I mean? But, you know, here in Cherokee. <laughs> but anyways, the colors have popped. Absolutely stunning. And they got some fiberglass bears over here. Some, some new sculptures to take a look at. And these guys are, are a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure they're telling a story. Maybe a, a Cherokee legend or something. Or something to do with the bear and the fox. And they're, they're quite tall. They're at least 10 foot, 12 foot tall. And it's a busy day here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Everybody's out enjoying this. The leaves are just beautiful. I don't know if they can get much more beautiful than what we've seen on our way over through the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So the fox has got some fish and the bear is staring him down. So I'm assuming the story is that the fox is going to give the bear some fish and they become best friends, right? Yeah. That's that's what I think the story is about. It is beautiful today, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's amazing. And it is really busy in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It was pretty much bumper to bumper. We did shoot a video mm -hmm. that will be in a separate video, just the National Park and the colors, the colors were amazing. You know, every single time I come to Cherokee, I always have to sing that song. Cherokee people, Cherokee pride. I don't know, just have to. It's, I always, it's in my mind the whole time I'm here. Oh yes, absolutely beautiful here. The colors are, are starting to pop and... Yeah, so I remember this very well. Dad would pull over in the car. We would get out. We would come over in this area and the chief would be there. And I think you give him like $5 or something. You get a photo with him, right? And I always had my headdress on and my, and my tomahawk with a rock that was painted on the end of it. And this bridge here used to shake. I remember crossing it. Of course, it's seen better days and they don't want anybody crossing it. And I can see the reason why it's it's probably not in the best shape, but I remember going across the way there into the into the chief's uh, gift store, right? I mean, he tried to get you to go to his gift gift shop, right? But I think he 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 got his start by just taking photos with him, and then he built all of that, and then he built all that over there, and then he built well, he built a lot of things here. In the Great Smoky Mountains. And uh, yeah, it just, I just can't get over the colors that we've been seeing on our visit. Yeah, so they have this little strip plaza here. It's called the TP Village Mall. They got indoor gem mining, uh, indoor putt putt. I got a little mechanical bull over there. I don't see it run as much anymore. Old time photo, just, you know, gift stores and a little bit of everything. TP Village. And you have the leather shack. Outback hats. 
belt, river's edge. And yet again, there's a lot of folks out enjoying this beautiful day. Now they have this little um, ice cream parlor over here and they, it's really good. Well, howdy, partner. <laughs> I got all these homemade dream catchers here. They got a lot of really unique stuff in here. You got a little bit of everything. All those glasses, the Mickey Mouse ones, and the hamburger and the Smurfs. Yeah, you can you can even make some moonshine. Yeah, they got that here. A thousand dollars. Yeah, they got a lot of nifty stuff in here. A lot of collectibles. A lot of um, you know, like older relics and stuff. There's some Mayan. Hey, you never know what you'll find. When you're just out exploring, I didn't know this was here. If you want a real coontail, they got that here. <laughs> Some different types of pelts. Yeah, they do have a little bit of everything in here. Uh, Colombian shrunken head. Oh boy. A little moonshine still, a little picture of Popcorn Sutton. I highly recommend checking out this Bear Fighting uh, Bakley Antiques and Trading Company. They got a lot of really nifty things in there. Cherokee made Indian dolls. Five hundred dollars. And here's the inner workings of the mill. Hey, you got these belts, and I guess the rest of it is upstairs. So we're gonna go take a look at the rest of it up up the stairs. And they're grinding up cornmeal. What do you think? It is. Yeah, you sharpen your knives and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun to see that uh, that mill, right? got the totem pole on the right that's been there forever I think it's closed now a lot of gift stores this is usually where the Cherokees will do their dance but I will warn you, you gotta get ready with some money because that's that's how they make their living they don't dance for free right and Peter's pancakes we did a review there it's pretty good actually we we enjoyed it yeah, so this here is the pink motel 
And the last time we were here, the sign was, was down, but the sign is back. It's been redone. I heard all of its neon is, is really good. And it's great to see those classic neons, but it is closed for the season. They open, reopen in March. One of these days we're going to stay here. It's just an old, old school hotel, you know? the Super 8 and the Dairy Queen which once was a McDonald's and um, yeah then you have Paul's restaurant we've did a review there also yeah we did a review on Paul's always busy always packed and got some souvenirs and everything else and then you have pan for gold we did that one yeah we did that too yeah. have fun pan for gold they have another fiberglass I'm guessing it's telling a story too yeah, the colors are amazing and we are downtown Cherokee this is what I remember growing up walking downtown here going to gift shops it's pretty much what you do down here just walk around and look for souvenirs to take home yeah just absolutely beautiful so it's warmed up quite a bit to where I got to take my jacket off and uh, it's feeling good I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk downtown here real quick. We're not gonna spend a lot of time. It's just pretty much gift shop after gift shop. We'll take you in one and they pretty much, the rest of them, they're, they're the same. And there's nothing like walking through Cherokee, taking in all the atmosphere. Unlike Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg, Cherokee doesn't change a whole lot. It still looks the same as it did back when I was a kid, back in the early 80s. And they have a lot of dream catchers in that store. They also have a lot of leather goods, moccasins, um, you name it, <laughs> they probably have it. Yeah. They have a little mural on the side of the building that says, Red Man Rise. Hmm. Yeah, little Tomahawk, Fort Tomahawk over there. That's been here as long as I can remember. Yet again, it hasn't changed a whole lot over the years. You know? You got the totem poles. You know, t-shirts. This is always an interesting picture here. They're riding down the road in that old, an old Impala. Ride with, pride. Yeah, ride with pride, right? And I always come over here and take a look at this old chairlift. And this was running I believe the first time I visited, I was probably about five, six years old. And they made a movie here. They actually filmed a movie. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. It wasn't really, you know, super popular movie, but it was made, I think it's on the stairwell or something. But anyways, and it's not, hasn't ran, gosh, probably forever, literally forever and that's what i think cherokee should do is that they should you know invest some money in and bring back things like this you know um you know it'd be great if they had like an anakista type thing over here and, and, you know what i mean and, and other things you know and american spirit motel of course it's a gift shop down below and 
there's actually a, a motel up upstairs. American Spirit. Yep, motel office. And that Burger King down there, it's been here as long as I remember. Down there at the end. We're not gonna walk all the way to the end. We're just kind of taking a quick walk through. We're gonna cross over here. Years and years ago, before PETA and all that, they used to have this chicken, and you put a quarter in it. It was a real chicken. You put a quarter in it, and the, and the chicken would dance. But you know how they got the chicken to dance? Because the, the, the grate that he stood on, would, would electric, would, would, electricity would run through it, and it would shock him, and he'd make him dance. <laughs> Things have changed, hasn't it? And yeah, you won't see that anymore. Yeah, but they did that here. That's, you know, poor chicken, right? Yeah. And we're going to head into Nancy's real quick and kind of show you what the inside of these, these gift stores look like. They got some cool bird houses. And you can smell leather. It's probably one of the biggest smells you smell. And yeah, you can definitely smell leather. And if you got to, you know, go into the, the old west, you could do that too. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you know, everything. Yeah. A lot of dream catchers. And if you're looking for moccasins, they have them. Yeah. Well, these are kind of cool little, little crossbow, right? And they have a little splash area here for the kids. I think water will squirt up, so, you know, different times of the year. And a little concert stage over there. It's always great stopping and seeing Cherokee. Yet again, brings back a lot of memories coming through here and spending the day over here. And there's the casino. Absolutely love Santa Land. One of my favorite little places to stop. That's that's a lot of fun there. What a name for a gift store. Bear Meets Den. Yeah, it's open all year, so you can come through here any, any time of the year. 
they have apples. Every kind you can imagine. Pink ladies, Granny Smiths. They have Red and Delicious. Yeah. Mountain Pippin. Gala. And my favorite. Honey Crisp. We should get a bag. Yeah, we should get a bag. So it's Spearfinger the novel. Oh boy, Dawn. They wrote a book about your favorite, Spearfinger. You, you know, this time of year, she's creeping around these mountains. They got little tin men and, and some gore, some birdhouses. Enter here. You got quail eggs and oh, some uh, cracklins, right? Frog jam. We got a lot of different uh, different things here. Well, we got a lot of really cool things. These are real fox yeah, fox tails and oh, this is really cool over here. A little little wood um, carving there. Hmm. I like the the bee's nest, the wasp nest. Oh wow, look at all these little pelts, Don. There's a beaver pelt. Poor little Ooh. poor little beaver, right? He didn't make it. He didn't make it. I think it might be spear finger right there, Don. Oh wow. Yeah, they do have a lot of one of a kind things. They even have these little Sasquatch made out of rock. They have a lot of um, pelts in here. See the teeth, the buffalo? The teeth. I think it's a wild boar with the horns, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Wild yeah. boar. A lot of Native American, Cherokee stuff. Yeah, these are those handmade dolls um, from, from Cherokee here. Oh, they look real, don't they, Don? Yeah, there's a lot to take in. Bear Den Meats. Really cool shop. They got a lot of like one of a kind Cherokee um, made stuff in there. They have like a lot of like boiled peanuts and j jams and jellies. And the owner, we got to meet the owner in there. He's really, really nice. So if you're between Cherokee and um, and Maggie Bailey, check them out. So we're here at Soco Falls. It's right off of the edge of the road here. You do have to walk a little bit down to it. And it's always beautiful. It's where two falls meet to make one great big fall. And uh, just absolutely stunning, usually this time of year. There's a little viewing platform. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's an extra waterfall that comes this way. Now you can climb down and see it a little closer, but it is very steep.
and we're going to stop off at the most photographed view in the Smokies. And I think they're closed. They are. What a bummer, huh? So we're at the most photographed view of the Smokies and it is a Tuesday so they are closed. We've been to the top many of times before. Womp, womp, womp. And Maggie Valley is amazing. The colors are just, just wow. Maggie Valley is looking amazing. Looking good. So now we're over here in Maggie Valley, and it's just, it's a great little area. Uh, reminds you of like Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge, like probably way back in the, maybe the 40s or 50s, before all the tourism came. I always have to come over here and say hi to these two guys. They're always up to no good. Well, hello there. Uh, your, your, you, your chin is missing. He's got cigarettes in his mouth. Yeah, that guy, he's uh. I wouldn't want to run into him. The wrong turn, dude. <laughs> and looks like they're up to no good. You know they're going to be doing some kind of moonshining or something. But we're here at Maggie Mountaineer Crafts. We're here for the apples. They sell William Tell, which is a local apple in the area. And fall in love with the mountains. And we come here every year this time. It's kind of like our must to kind of gets us gets us in the spirit you know and I got a nice little gift shop we're gonna get again we're gonna pick up some apples over there it's gonna be fun and there's an outhouse <laughs> and this is the toilet paper and they have a really nice little gift shop here it's got a little bit of everything yeah just your basic gift shop stuff little little black bears over there and there really cool teas some for the little ones. The silent but deadly. The silent but deadly. <laughs> I think that's someone's shorts, Don. I always like looking at the canned goods. I got some molasses there. Look at the green habanero whoop bass. <laughs> oh boy. I can't I said you did, you did. <laughs> honey. It looks mean. Some of the honey. Yeah. Smoky Mountain Honey Company. They've been around for a long time. Look at those great big old bees nest up there. That's a nice colorful mug there. Maggie Valley, North Carolina. Got old Bigfoot on there. So this here is Maggie. You'll see the symbol all over town. Or you can get her on a swing too. Or you can get her, you can get her on a swing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of like the mascot, right? Yep. Mascot for Maggie Valley. And out back here, they have a nice little garden. And I always come over here and film their flowers. They got some just really nice flowers throughout. I do it every year. Yeah, I'm not sure what these flowers are, but they're beautiful. And I like to, to film them every, 
every year that we come through. You got a nice little porch you can come out here and and sit and next to the uh, river here and just relax. And Dawn's just sitting, relaxing here, taking in the uh, the sounds and. starting to get a little chilly again and we are here for some apples today we're gonna look around and see what they got and they have honey crisp here we're gonna probably grab a, a bag of them and gala is a one of my, another one of my favorites and these are william tell apples they're just down the road from here in waynesville you can get it right here in maggie valley So the Indian corn is $18.95 and uh, very well decorated already, nice and ribboned up for you. And they are in the fall spirit here. And I got these moonshine jugs and they have little scenes painted on them. I also have saw blades and this one here is nice with the the cardinal and the church oh wow look at all the crazy decorations it's hard to take it all in there's so much going on and these guys are very unique there uh, they even got some Christmas over that ways. Little little Christmas is moving in. Uh. So we got a bag of apples. apples. Honey crisp. Mm -hmm. I love the mountain apples. They're just I don't know. I had some ones from Walmart and they just weren't the same. Mm -hmm. Just something about the honey crisps. Yeah, in these mountains. And scattered throughout town is a lot of fall decor. And they're fun to look at. They got a lot, they're very creative over here when it comes to this. Yeah. And we'll take a look at these as we go through town. And that's about my speed back roads and bonfires we're in the town of maggie valley and that's maggie and she waves to everybody as they enter town north carolina 1974 49 years yeah. ago so maggie's been around for mm -hmm. 49 for years. 49 years huh you're trying to tell me you are older than maggie valley yes, I am. <laughs> by one year, by one year. stomping ground a lot of the mom and pop hotels we had a wedding chapel I'm just doing a little walk through town checking out all the, the decor look at these little guys they're cute Maggie Valley's got a lot of mom and pop type hotels 
you know, the old school ones. And I imagine their prices are probably reasonable. So if you are coming to the Smokies, you know, you're gonna spend time in the National Park. You know, it's a short drive. And um, you can stay in some of those really cool, and a lot of them have been redone and put back to their original like state with the modern day comforts. Uh, they have a couple mini putt, putt golfs in the area. Uh, a few restaurants, a lot of shop and a lot of like arts and crafts type things. Um, it's just, it's just am amazingly beautiful here. Cherokee's not too far down the road. Um, you also have um, Chattaloochee. There's an entrance over here that will take you to a real remote part of the Great Smoky Mountains. I would give yourself like a day here and just explore. Maybe you could do here and also Cherokee in a day. And every single time I'm here in Maggie Valley, I gotta check out Ghost Town in the sky. Or Ghost Town. And there's not a whole lot to see here. Yeah, you used to take a chairlift to the top. And there's a there's an amusement park up there. Got roller coasters and all kinds of stuff. But a lot of folks have hopes that it will make a comeback and the answer is probably not. Those rides have been sitting for probably close to 20 years. They're never going to be approved to ride again. Or I know there's been a lot of talk of bringing it back, and there's been a lot of folks who want to bring it back. It just never, it just doesn't happen. And so they used to have an incline rail that went up the, the side there, and that's the tram for that. That's long gone. And this was the train that rode around Ghost Town. And that's down here, down in the parking lot. A little bit of ghost town history. Put in the comments below if you ever had ridden on that train. I never was able to visit ghost town. We've come through here years and years ago and it was open, but we never went to the top. And you definitely do not want to attempt to go mm -hmm. up there because there is security in the parking lot. I don't know how you can even walk up that far anyway. And um, they, they give you the evil eye. <laughs> they do too. It's deep. Yeah, they definitely. Very, very steep. So we're at the Maggie Valley restaurant and we're going to have lunch here. And I got this cute little Snoopy. The, the welcome great pumpkin, huh? Oh, I got popcorn Sutton. We've never been here before, and uh, it's a little a little diner. Looks like they serve uh, country cooking, right? And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Maggie Valley restaurant since 1952. So they're known for their fried chicken here. It says it's the number one seller. It's a breast, thigh, uh, wing, and leg. And it's 1650. It comes with uh, two veggies. Um, and they say it's a 15 minute wait, but it's, but it's worth it. Hmm. I don't know if I want to get fried chicken. So there's not a lot of healthy choices here. There, there's not even a salad on the menu and you got the fried chicken. Cause that's the only thing that always screamed out. They said it's like the best thing on the menu. So. Yeah. And I had the chopped steak. We didn't eat all day and I'm getting like Yeah. And our lunch slash dinner is here. So I got the chopped steak and onions, got some mushrooms on there, um, got some mashed potatoes, green beans, a little roll. And there's Dawn's 
fried chicken. So it looks like you got a breast, a thigh, and a, and a wing, and a, and a leg. Coleslaw and beans. And it, it looks good, don't it? Ooh, your chicken is piping hot. And they're known for their chicken. Yeah, it looks like it's tender and that cooked all the way through, looking good. And the hamburger steak. Good, yeah, good. I'm hungry though. I think anything will taste good because I am just super hungry. Um, it's already four o'clock, haven't eaten nothing today, so. And our total came out to 34.78. Well, that was the Maggie Valley restaurant. It's like your hometown cooking. Um, yeah, basic, right? Yeah, it's basic. It's basic, but it's good. It's good. And uh, it did the job. Oh man, because we were starving and um, I didn't realize there's not a lot of choices. I wanted to go to that Arthur's over here, but it was closed. What? So, yeah, I think it's just because the Monday, Tuesday, That was a wonderful day we had. The colors are just out of this world. Um, pretty much everything is closing. It's five o'clock, just after five. And uh, we tried to go back to this one gift shop and they were already closed and we just noticed that a lot of places are closing. So I think this is gonna do it for today. I just love this. I, I love it. It's a great day. It's probably one of the better days we've had in a while. You know, just exploring and the colors and, and everything. Mm -hmm.